In this problem, we're computing the force on a driver as a car brakes to a stop. So in the setup for the problem, we're given an initial velocity for this car, that's 38 and a half meters per second, and then we're gonna put on the brakes until we get all the way to zero. And we're told that happens over a displacement of 165 meters, and we're told the mass of the driver of this car is 75 kilograms. The problem is split into two parts, where first we get the acceleration of the car, and second, we find the magnitude of the horizontal force on the driver. So the acceleration of the car isn't too bad. We're going to use the time-independent kinematics equation. V squared equals V naught squared plus 2A times the displacement X minus X naught. Now we can either just sub in the displacement of 165 meters, or we can put an origin at the initial position and say that X naught is equal to zero and X final is 165. Either way, you get the same thing. So V is my final velocity, and I know that's zero. V naught was 38 and a half meters per second. A is what we're trying to solve for here. And again, X minus X naught is 165 meters. So we're going to take 38.5 squared and subtract that from both sides, and then divide by twice 165. So keeping the minus sign for now, we get negative 4.49 meters per second squared. And that makes sense that it's negative because it's a leftward pointing acceleration to cause a rightward pointing velocity to slow down. But in the question, we were asked for the magnitude of the acceleration. In other words, we don't care about the direction. So the size of this vector is just 4.49 meters per second squared. So next we wanna get the magnitude of the horizontal force on the driver. And we know that if the acceleration of the car is 4.49 meters per second squared, that's the same as the acceleration of the actual human being inside the car. So the magnitude of the acceleration for this person is 4.49 meters per second squared. And we know their mass is 75 kilograms. Well, Newton's second law tells us how to compute the force on this person. I can write down F equals MA and just sub in the mass, 75 kilograms. And the calculated acceleration, 4.49 meters per second squared. Notice that I'm not worried about the sign on that because we're just trying to get a magnitude of this force. And to three significant digits, this comes out to 337 newtons. Now I wanna make a couple points about this before we wrap things up. First, it's handy to remember that a newton is about a fifth of a pound. So this answer is a little more than 65 pounds. And that seems intuitively like a pretty reasonable result. Second, I wanna give a quick reminder of what's going on with the units here. Notice in our calculation, we had kilograms and meters per second squared. It's important to recognize that that is a Newton. All you have to do is go back to Newton's second law to remind yourself of this. So if I put brackets on these, indicating the units of, the units of force are the same as the units of mass times the units of acceleration. In other words, a Newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab and best of luck on your math and physics journey.